Welcome back guys. Today, as you can tell, I am visiting my parents for the weekend, so it is going to be a little bit ghettoer of a stream than it usually is. Um, but I wanted to keep the video train rolling here um, and also get a first look at T5, Tier 5, um, which is the one with Dark Side in it. So I wanted to get a quick overview of each of the sub-bosses and what their healths are and what their um, passives are, as well as look at um, Omega here fight the hardest sub-boss and almost one-shot it, um, and understand how that is even close to possible with almost 200 mil health. So, first things first, let's take a look at the sub-bosses. We got DSG, we got um, Animated Joker, Batman Ninja Joker, we got Legendary Manta, we got um, Reverse Flash, and then Dark Side. So let's take a quick look here. Play. And again, oh, uh, Omega's YouTube channel will be in the comments, or sorry, in the description of this channel below. Oh my goodness. It will be in the description of this video below. So make sure you go check him out. He's got ridiculous stuff, and he's got awesome gear, which we're going to go over in a minute. Um, so that he's able to continue this uh, solo raid train going and hopefully continue to smash through um, Dark Side here. And we can get a video of that as well. Um, all right, so Dar um, Dark Supergirl uh, has increased attack and will power drain you on successful specials. She also is immune to power drain, stun, and freeze. Um, so there's nothing in there about a damage cap. Um, but there is stuff in there about stun, like um, uh, immune to stun. So we're not going to be able to use um, our Heartbreaker Harley Quinn as easily, meaning that we are going to have to use Arkham Knight Batman if we wanted to try and even get a stun off, because it's a 50% chance um, stun against uh, bosses who are immune to stun. But honestly, I would go with KOAM, because KOAM... Um, will be able to get his special three off and do 10% damage on three special threes because there's no damage cap on her. That's my guess. Uh, again, we're going to we're gonna see how people start adapting to this and start trying to take out these sub-bosses, but that's just my initial guess here. All right, what have we got next? We have, and she's got 65 mil health. So maybe one-shottable depending on... Um, on what uh, your your artifact is, but we'll see. All right, so we got Lord Joker. So sub-boss Lord Joker has increased lethal attack chance and deals splash damage to your entire team. Be careful, he's also placed between hazards in the environment um, for you to contend with. So again, you can stun him, so probably the best team is going to be Heartbreaker Harley Quinn on this one. Uh, I guess we'll see, but one of the best... Um, one of the best artifacts that you could have on you is probably for this one, the one, uh, this one, the Aegis, because it has negative 100% hazard secondary effects and negative um, 95% dot incoming at level 10. Um, so this is going to be coming into, into play a lot, it looks like, throughout these raids, because um, I have a feeling hazard is going to be a pain in the ass throughout this entire thing, considering we're still dealing it, with it with... Um, last laugh joker boss on t4 um, it, it looks like hazards are going to play a big part so if you can get this piece of gear go for it um, all right let's see but again uh, since they uh, he's not immune to stun i would say that the best bet is heartbreaker harley quinn team um, all right yeah so nothing special about that other than just the hazards next up it looks like we have yeah manta all right, so what does Manta do? Sub -boss, black, sub boss Black Manta has increased defense, critical attack chance, and dot resistance. He is also immune to stun and freeze. So that one looks... Oh, player heroes will randomly tag in? Oh, man, honestly, I have no idea how we're going to beat this. It, it looks like just straight damage output is the way to go. Um, I think KOAM with one of the new artifacts or claws is going to be the best way to go, um, because you're just going to want the rest of your team to die off and just leave KOAM in, in there doing as much damage as he possibly can. And since he, this doesn't have a, 
damage cap, you should be able to do um, the three special threes with KOM to get as much damage off as possible. Might have to do multiple pips to get them um, down health, though. Yeah, I don't think this is going to be a one-shot one. I could be wrong, but we'll, we'll see. Um, I think, again, these new artifacts are going to come into play, especially in situations like this where you're not able to tag in um, and use uh, all blades. So new artifacts are kind of way OP, like we expected. Um, all right, let's see. Anything else? Nope, just increased defense. So maybe since increased defense on this, it might be good depending. It might be maybe, perhaps, per chance, good to have classic Superman get off a couple of specials to um, decrease his defense for the rest of the match. But that would be at the trade-off of Dr. Fate or Shazam. So it depends on how much health Manta has, whether that's worth it or not. Um, sorry, not, not health, how much defense Manta has. Um, so we'll see. We'll see when we see some other people fight Manta, um, whether it's worth getting classic Superman in there. All right, so this is the one we're going to watch today. Boss Flash, 199 mil health. Sub-boss Reverse Flash is stronger than ever. You can only break his combo meter with successful specials. So be or also be aware of rapid class changes as he is very strong. I'm um, sorry, he has very strong bonuses against weaker classes. Um, so this is just like Brainiac um, in the uh, like Phase Four Brainiac where it just rotates through the classes. Um, yeah, so nothing special there really, except just make sure that you are putting out as much damage you can stun him. Um, you can crit against him. Yeah, I think he's going to be super easy. It's just that his health bar is so massive that you might have to use multiple pips. All right, so we're going to go ahead and look at what um, Omega here has for his uh, gear um, and how he goes about taking on Reverse Flash. All right, so mm -mm -mm, maximize that bad boy. And we're off to the races, homies. All right. So as expected, he's gonna he's gonna use Arkham Knight Batman, uh, Heartbreaker Harley, and Heartbreaker Harley has that level seven um, Aegis, which again level Batman. seven Aegis. Um, it's really good because of the damage that it outputs. Like it's it's the attack it's the highest attack bonus out of all of these, right? But I don't think we care about the damage um, reduction of oops, sorry. The damage reduction of hazards because there's going to be no hazards in in play so it's still one of the the, the best uh damage output ones but there may be other better um level seven or level 10 even um uh whatever they're called artifacts here 100 percent health steal 100 percent of healing generation for when hit by a critical attack when below 30 percent health no replaces rush so father box would be better um for this specific fight uh 100 chance to steal opponent's combo meter meh 250 damage against minions meh um 4.5 power bars gained no it doesn't matter 30 percent or 33 percent health gain from a ko'd opponent um, if an opponent is protected by shield, which is not, re uh, ranged attacks are garbage. Uh, successful swipe attacks remove 75% of active opponent's defense for five seconds. So that would be good, but it is lower attack bonus. So it's a trade-off. It really depends on how much defense he has. So I'm going to still stick with the, the piece of gear that he's got is better. Um, and then 155 special attack damage for five seconds after successfully blocking an opponent's special ability. Um, mm, we're not going to be doing any specials, so I don't think that's any good. And 100% uh, chance to ignore power steal or power drain. Yeah, so honestly, I think uh, out of all of them, these are this is like second best uh, to only Father Box just because of the rush uh, attack damage. But um, it's it's still really good, level 7, and, you know, 32k attack. It's not going to be 32k because his is level 7, but it's going to be still a super high amount of attack um, that he gets just from having that. So let's go back over here and finish this out. 
Um, and then a level eight. Um, I don't remember what the name of that one is, but that's just the one that revives him. Uh, so nothing special there, just uh, extra health. All right, so my guess is I believe boss flash, like all of the sub bosses can be stunned just from any stun ability. So, um, like Heartbreaker Harley Quinn's uh, special two has stun on it. So technically, he should or he shouldn't have to tag in and out. I think. Don't quote me on it. But it does look like he's gonna tag in and out anyway, just to gain extra um, power. Um, damn! Look at that! Look at those freaking damage numbers, dude. This is remember 200 mil health. And you're gonna want to make sure, for sure, that you stun him um, when you've got the class advantage. Um, right now, the, nobody has a class advantage over Arcane. I've never seen Arcane, actually, I don't think. Maybe I have, um, but I don't think we've ever seen Arcane um, from Brainiac. It's kind of weird. Dude, he's like a minute in and already got like 70 mil damage. These effing artifacts are nuts. This would 100% be a one-shot. If this is close to a one-shot, this would absolutely be a one-shot. Why did he do that? I missed that. Uh, weird. Um, the other thing you've got to remember is if you can tag in um, Arkham Knight Batman when Reverse Flash's class is meta, then he will get a free stun off, I believe, right? Because, uh, like, if uh, Reverse Flash uses a special, that is, uh, because of Batman's count. So that's pretty awesome, too. A lot of people are saying that if you don't have AKBM, you can just use any other Batman's. Um... Oh, yeah, he did this double stun too early on that one. Um... Oh, but he got a special three off in time, so that's awesome. Hmm. I haven't seen a meta. Uh, sorry, a meta class yet. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I've just not been looking. Um, but what I was saying is, you can use any stun ability, so you can use any other Batman um, against uh, these sub-bosses to get them stunned. Um, so don't fret if you don't have Arkham Knight Batman. You can do it with any of them. But Arkham Knight Batman is Heartbreaker Harley Quinn 75% defense just because of his passive. As well as, again, if... If Reverse Flash is ever going to actually become a meta um, character. Yeah, I haven't seen meta yet. This is crazy. I mean, still, the damage is nuts, dude. He's already down to like 150, or he's like already done 150k, or 150 mil damage. Yeah, he's not going to trade out the meta, which is kind of stupid. And not stupid. They did it on purpose so that this little Heartbreaker Harley doesn't have too much of an advantage, but it's just kind of weird because Reverse Flash in general is meta by himself, so... Okay, isn't he meta? Is he meta? Or is he agility? I think he's meta. Um... Anyway. Usually, I would go and find out, but right now, I'm working with what I got. <laughs> Man, he... Okay, so obviously, if he had level 10, um... Artifact, he absolutely would have wrecked that, and then... I think he would have still one-shot that shit if Flash ever turned into a meta um, and that he got the extra damage from um, uh, from having the class advantage. I also think that... I I'm trying to figure out whether if... Like, look at how much um, energy Heartbreaker Harley has right here. If he had used an ultimate, he gets an extra 25% damage. Um, just for like for the rest of the match, just by using his ult. I'm wondering whether it makes sense for him to use the ult, or whether he gets more damage in just simply by using um, the stun and then alternating it with a special three of Harley. Um, not 100% sure. If you can get it off early enough in the match, then probably yes, but it takes a long time to generate energy in the in the in the beginning of a match so um let me know what you think in the comments below uh sorry that this video is a bit ghettoer and there's not as many cutscenes and me cropping stuff out but again i'm working with what i got i'm on a laptop at my parents house so thanks for sticking around and <laughs> watching the video anyway um but yeah i'm really enjoying these solo raids so i'm enjoying putting out the content right now much love everybody if you like the video maybe leave a like maybe subscribe and i'll catch y'all in the next video peace guys